where are you going? It's probably one of the easiest questions in ESL, but it's a, uh, a question that students quite often, believe it or not, they make mistakes on. I'm going to explain, I'm going to give you some examples, uh, and then I'm going to expand on the grammar and bring you to, I hope, a greater understanding. Uh, for a stop, let's say, um, where are you going? I'm going to church. I love going to church. What that means is you don't say love the physical, um, going to actual physical church. What you enjoy are the activities that surround going to church. Activities like singing, praying, uh, meeting people, uh, confession. These are all activities that you associate with church, and you you love those activities. Church is belongs to a group of, of nouns that are object activity nouns, right? So the activity is what you focus on, not the object. You know, um, words like say school. You know, I love going to school. You know, I like studying. Uh, reading books and uh, talking to my teacher and seeing my friends. When you say you love going to school, you're talking about the activity and not the object, the physical, actual school. If you were to say, I love going to churches, then you're talking about the object and not the activity. Many, many people go to Europe and they visit churches and they take pictures of churches because they look at the churches as physical objects as beautiful things. Okay. So a lot of uh, object activity nouns do not use the. Uh, school, jail, prison, hell, uh, home, um, da, 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 many more. There are also some, and this is the confusing part for a lot of students, there are object activity nouns that don't use, I mean, that use the. So, for example, if you say, I love going to the library. Library is an object activity noun. So, when you say you love going to the library, it's not a specific place. It's an activity. So, you like, say, you like studying you like finding information, you like working on projects, you like uh, just having a quiet place to think. That's what you mean when you say I love going to the library. Not the library as a physical location. If you say I love going to libraries, then you're talking about you're like, oh well, I love I love going to libraries, you know, and you just look around at libraries. I, I just love them as physical objects. Which I don't know, be pretty weird, but hey, whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> um Usually, um, I'll give you some examples of objectivity nouns that use the. Uh I love going to the library. I love going to uh, the supermarket. I love going to um, the post office, the bank. These are object activity nouns. All right. um, also, and I'll continue. Most of these object, uh, object activity nouns are places of duty or obligation. They're not fun places. People don't say, oh, you know, I, I love going to school or uh, I love going to the library. I mean, they, they might, but they go there because they have to, because it's necessary, you know. Um, right? So it's not always the case. You have things like, say, you know, go to the park or go to um, the zoo, right? Most object activity nouns deal with duty and responsibility, but not all of them. Some deal with entertainment. Next, moving on to entertainment, 
uh, places that deal with entertainment are just follow basic everyday grammar rules, right? So, for example, if you say, um, "I love going to nightclubs," right? Um, you know, it's like if you if you say, I, I, love, "I love cats," right? You just simply you know, "I love going to nightclubs." You add an s, and uh, that's done, right? Um, you know, so when you say you love going to nightclubs, um, you know, you like dancing, uh, you like uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, or talking to girls, right? Or um, drinking, or you like uh, just listening to music, right? Most places of entertainment are... Uh, Object activity. No, sorry. Most places that that deal with entertainment just follow everyday rules: nightclubs, bars, uh, restaurants, um, coffee shops, magic shows. Um, you name it. Most of them do. Now, some don't. For example, uh, protests, demonstrations, funerals are not object activity nouns, and they're not fun, but they follow basic everyday rules. But if you look at Words that are, say, uh, object activity nouns and words that uh, deal with entertainment, generally they are separated. All right. Um, all right. So, to learn more about this, uh, I've made some uh, exercise sheets, or they're exercise sheets from my uh, book. Right? Let's see my book. <laughs> Okay. So you know, it's my book, so I, I can I can put it on the net if I want. So, um, and you can find that um, these exercises on my blog, uh, greenscreenenglish. dot blogspot. dot com, right? And uh, any pretty much any video uh, I make in the future will uh, have a corresponding written exercise uh, uh, and grammar explanation that goes along with it. So, right? Because I'm that kind of guy, you know. So that's it. Uh, that's it uh, for my explanation. Uh, I'll be making more videos uh, in the future. Uh, one a week. That's that's. Um, I'm trying to hold true to that. And uh, I will see you next week. Late.